Yo, it's Dover here, and I want to talk about one of the simplest and yet one of the most commonly uh, confusing subject areas in chemistry, and that is stoic stoichiometry. This always means measured, measured. Okay, so stoichiometry. It is. Uh, I think it's the word. I think it's the word that confuses people. But honestly, we do stoichiometry every day. Every day. We don't call it stoichiometry. We don't even know we're really doing it because it's that easy. But if you think about it, we do it every day. Uh, let me give you a definition. Stoichiometry is just a way to uh, a process, a process that shows... in a chemical chemical reaction so basically if you boil all this huge definition down stoichiometry uh, really shows how um, certain atoms let's say specific how um, Specific atoms uh, affect each other. So that is stoichiometry. It's a process that shows the relationships between atoms, between atoms and molecules in a chemical reaction. And it really shows this. How do specific atoms or molecules molecules affect each other. I'm not talking about just in uh, reactivity. I'm talking numerically. Numerically. And I'll explain that to you in just a minute. Just get that for right now. So stoichiometry is that process that shows how uh, atoms or molecules affect each other numerically. Uh, and um, we do this every day. So let's check this out. So say, for example, you go home and uh, let's say, just because I think this color fits. So you go home and you want um, ramen noodles. Ramen noodles. Okay, it's got that little flap there. It's covered up, so we'll cover it up. We'll put ramen in here. Ramen. Ramen, however you say it. So you want ramen noodles, and you're exceptionally hungry uh, that day, so you actually want uh, two of these, right? Two ramen noodle cups. You're real hungry today. It's just been one of those days you don't want to eat school food, so you want two cups of ramen noodles. Uh, then you put the process together, and it's pretty simple. Once you have your two cups of ramen noodles, um, you know what you're going to need next, right? You're going to need to open up those cups and you're going to need to put with two cups of water, let's just say you're going to put one cup or two cups of Raymond. Let's just say you're going to put one, one cup of water, one cup of water. And let's make water this color. One cup of water. That's beautiful water, right? One cup of water. Uh, you also know in order to uh, make your ramen noodles, you are going to need, um, what color fits this? Let's say gold fits this just because. You know that you are going to need plus one microwave. Let me put our numbers here. Mm -mm 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 our buttons put our uh, door here so we need one microwave so we're gonna need two cups of ramen noodles we're gonna need one cup of water and we're gonna need one microwave 
And what that's going to produce for us is it's going to produce, it's going to produce happiness. It's going to produce happiness because we're going to eat that and feel good about life. But really what stoichiometry is doing is it's saying, uh, if I want two cups of Raymond noodles, I'm going to need one uh, glass of water and I'm going to need one microwave. And so without those, one of those items, you're not going to be able to find happiness. It's just not going to happen, right? So we do this every day. Uh, and we do uh, this in multiple ways. Let me erase this and say, um, what are we going to say? We want to like binge watch a TV show. I don't know what TV shows you binge watch, but say, for example, we want to binge watch, say we want to binge watch um, Grey's Anatomy. So we want to binge watch Grey's Anatomy. We're going to put that anatomy. We want to binge watch Grey's Anatomy. So we know that we are going to need uh, one, let's see, pretty much one TV. But let's say we don't have a TV, so we're going to need one, um, one phone. One phone right here. And that's going to have Grey's Anatomy. G A, Gray's Anatomy on it. That is a G, by the way, not an S. So we need one phone because we don't have a TV. Uh, we also know that we're going to need, and I'm going to put this in red. We also know that we're going to need plus one, one Netflix account. Netflix account. Um, and then what else are we going to need? Nothing. I need one phone, one Netflix account, and uh, actually, yeah, let's put another thing in there. You're going to need just a little, a little bit, a little bit. Uh, let's say we need, uh, because we want to watch three shows, three episodes. So we're going to need three, let's say three hours, right? And that's going to yield for us. What was I going to? What is that going to produce for us? That is going to produce a colorful rainbow of happiness. Happiness. So that's going to. That's what it's going to produce. But the relationship is, if you didn't have a phone, I mean, and you didn't have a TV, we've already established that. If you didn't have a phone, that would mess up the whole deal. You could. You couldn't just have Netflix and watch three hours of. Uh, Grey's Anatomy without some viewing device and if you had a viewing device but not Netflix I guess you could like pirate it or stream it somewhere else but we're just going to say that Netflix is the only way right now okay um, but if you didn't have Netflix to watch Grey's Anatomy or Hulu or anything like that then you'd be pretty much out and if you didn't have three hours then you couldn't watch your three episodes of Grey's Anatomy we do stoichiometry every day without even knowing it uh, and really, it's about these relationships. If I didn't have one uh, and one and three, then I wouldn't be able to do what I wanted to do. So uh, that is what stoichiometry is. Now, when would we need it in chemistry? And that's what the next video is going to be about. I want to keep these short and sweet. But just know that Stoichiometry, I'm going to write this in nice, vibrant pink so that you get it. Stoichiometry, stoic, I always call it stoic. Stoic shows us, shows us the relationships, relationships of atoms or molecules, molecules, uh, shows us the relationships of atoms and molecules with other atoms and molecules and how they affect each other numerically. Numerically.
So that is stoichiometry. You should at least write that down. If you go back up here, you could see it right there. Um, and this is your general introduction to the most simple chemistry topic there is. Stover out.